Now, we're waiting for the front pages to come in. I suspect many of them will have uh, the Princess of Wales on them. Um, <laughs> shall we talk about this mad, completely ridiculous story? I just find it completely insane. Mm. I can't understand what would ever possess somebody to do what's just happened when you are technically the future Queen of <laughs> the United Kingdom. But, Mike, there's a very long history of the monarchy producing flattering portraits, as in forever. It's what they've always done. Yeah. Hans Holbein Sr. and Jr. made their yep. livings out of it. Right. All of our kings and queens produce flattering portraits. <laughs> the difference is that they when portraits... haven't got weird-looking fingers, though. Well, the difference is that when um, portraits were painted, you know, they, it took an immense amount of skill, mm. a long time. It was a very expensive, very skilled procedure. Yeah. And, you know, that's when art was kept behind curtains, presented like a piece of theatre. It was mm. a piece of theatre. Yeah. So much propaganda yeah. in royal portraiture. Yes. The mistake she's made is doing it herself because um, it's very difficult. I'm a photographer, well, yeah. you know, former photographer. I don't do it so much anymore. But that kind of um, Photoshop work is very technical. It's very skilled. It's easy to get it wrong. Yeah. She's probably, you know, despite all the conspiracy theories around him, <laughs> she's probably just trying to get a picture together where all the kids are smiling. Because working with children is as bad as working with animals. They're never all looking <laughs> yeah. in the same direction no, at I the same time. So that's that. what she was probably doing. And I don't think she's guilty of anything worse than any other, any other uh, member of the royal family's ever done. The thing is that she's tripped up and made a mess of it. But it's the first time that any photograph has been picked up by an agency and, and been described as manipulated, yeah. you know, because I think it's more than just you know, putting a filter on or, you know, maybe putting portrait mode on or whatever it is you do with your iPhone. You know, something else has happened. Yeah, well, you, there's, well, there's one area where you can see what looks like um, a little bit of its skirting board but outside right. using the step. It doesn't quite line up. So she's done some kind of cutting right. and pasting. I don't think it's anything more than creating a composite image. It might not be, but the rules, the rules but are, why though... Why are they saying manipulated? They're using this incredibly harsh word for for what's probably something quite innocent. In, I, I don't agree she should have done it. I don't. But, you know, people apply filters and mess around with photography all the time Yes, they now. do, but yeah. not... But why is she getting such well, harsh Well, I'll tell you why, because she, because she released the photograph to various news agencies and they have a rule, which if, if a, a, a photograph has been tampered with, effectively, they can't put it out. And that's why they, they, they withdrew it. And they said, you can't, you, you know, we, we now no longer stand behind this. If they'd wanted to just put it out as their unofficial or official picture, just put it out on your own social media. That wouldn't have had the same effect. Do you know, then, they're, they're just it? not so rigorous about, for instance, um, managing to spot... Uh, photographs of coffins that didn't come from COVID that came from another period or um, spotting which footage is actually from a video game and not from the Ukraine war. <laughs> I mean, photographs and footage get into the media all the they time. They do, but I don't know if you're... Yeah, but I can't say for sure if any of those agencies involved were these agencies. Yeah, Associated Press, mm. well, very straightforward. AFP, again, very straightforward. I don't think any of those I, images you're talking about were in their system. I wonder if some of these agencies might have... Their, their nose is slightly put out of joint by the fact that the Princess of Wales does often take pictures. Many royal portraits now come to her mm. and they get a wide, come from her and they yeah. get quite a wide audience. Right. I mean, I wonder if there's a feeling that maybe things ought to be left to the professionals rather than Could the be. amateurs. But, I mean, again, that's something that's, that's, that's gone forever. You know, I used to work in the days when photography was, was a massive thing and, you know, you, you needed a photographer to take a picture that had to be published in the paper and you had to have it done properly. Now that's not required anymore. It's sad, though, because it's going to taint every picture they release now. Yeah. yeah. No one's going to trust it. Everyone's and that's gonna... the trouble. It feeds yeah. into this kind of bizarre situation we find ourselves in, where, as you say, Laura, it's probably nothing unusual. It's probably nothing particularly um, sinister. But it just looks very odd, and I can't mm. believe that there wouldn't be somebody in the palace. I mean, we were talking to Kinsey Schofield. She said they lost their kind of top media guy, their new media guy, who would have made, made sure this didn't happen. But anybody looking at the picture surely would say, don't those she, fingers she just, look a bit odd? She just shouldn't have done the Photoshop. No. And she shouldn't have done it herself. Yeah. This is a job literally yeah. for the professionals right. if you're going to do it. However, there's a... like Particularly a, under the is, circumstances. Of course, of course, because it's going to cause a lot of... Um, uh, quite, you know, it raises a lot of questions. But there's, there is a bigger problem, and it's a societal one. We are so used to the idea that we can manipulate imagery that we all just do it as though mm. it's, it's not a significant thing to do. In a way, we're all becoming our own propagandists. It's, it's an idea that... I must be very far behind the curve here, because I don't manipulate any images that I put out. 
but a lot of people do, especially um, celebrities, um, obviously advertising. You will not see a single ad that isn't right. photoshopped, photoshopped within yes, an Yes, and magazines famously do it. The models don't look like the models. But none of them, again, are about to become, at some point, relatively soon, the Queen of the United Kingdom. It's just, you know. And I agree she shouldn't have done it, but what I'm saying is because it is so ubiquitous, everyone's standards have slipped. Mm. We're prepared to accept um, lying, basically, through the form of imagery every time we open up Instagram or Twitter mm. or a magazine or switch on the telly. Because people know, are now going, well, how do we know the pictures of her in the car are now her? But every, It's so true what Laura's saying. It's actually a very interesting point. We yeah. expect them to present perfection all the time. And I'm sure that Kate feels that kind of pressure, you know, that yeah. everything has to be perfect. I have to make it look perfect. All the children have to be perfect. I mean, she's not even been allowed to convalesce in peace. No, but she didn't even need to put a picture out because the palace said she won't be seen till after Easter. Yes, but there is so much um, mad speculation going on there. And it's all social media encouraged. I know. Especially Twitter. It encourages everyone to bring their funniest memes. And it's sort of half in jest. And that's now... Maybe half a grain of truth. I mean, there's food. one with Prince Andrew in the background looking through the window. Oh, I mean, yeah. you know, it's ridiculous. Yeah. I was sent that to early today. <laughs> <laughs> it you know, the it's, it's... The best thing to do if you're the subject of conspiracy theories is nothing. Yeah. It seems to me. Because whatever you do, it's going to be misread, it's going to be misinterpreted, misrepresented. And now, yeah. look where we are. Now yeah. it's like, well, she must have been doing this for years. She's created yes. a Rishi Sunak whiteboard moment as well, yeah. obviously, with doing that. I mean, I mean that's, that is something that's quite unfortunate. You're talking about the, the social media. Like, there's a lot of confected outrage, isn't yeah. there? So people will use um, slip-ups like this as an opportunity to mercilessly milk it for humour. Yeah. Yeah. And, and, of course, social media runs on that kind of emotion, anger, outrage, mm. humour. And so she's made everything ten yeah. times worse. Yeah, I but know. it's not that big of a deal, is it? It's not. The it's photo not, isn't it's that big not of a deal. I don't think it is. Is, but no. I just, my question is why it's all. I just don't get it. I don't understand yeah. why we're, we're here. I don't know how she <laughs> let it happen, I suppose, oh, no. is what I'm saying. Desperation, but, maybe? Yeah, well, who knows?